Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. It's another Resistance Hero time and today we are playing the Mjolnir. Mjolnir is the hero grasshopper and uh, yeah, that one is very very interesting because um, unlike the other grasshoppers, it has a ballistic hardpoint in the arm and of course I am using it. So, what do we have here? We have a standard engine 300, we have an AC-10 and 6 medium lasers. This is a really good mid-range build uh, with the AC-10. It is very, very tanky, very durable, uh, not only because of the standard engine, but also because of the quirks. As you can see, it has a lot of armor, green armor uh, numbers here, and that comes uh, partly from the quirks. As you can see, base armor, plus 10, plus 15, and so on. And um, yeah, I amplify them with, the, with a bit of skills here. Very quick side note, I haven't mastered it yet because I'm, yeah, I was uh, running out of uh, general skill points, so I have to grind it up uh, on, on my own now. Uh, but uh, I can show you the skill build, uh, how I would build it in a second. I'm running uh, three jump jets here, and I really like jump jets on grasshoppers, so having the three is, is really nice. You can leave uh, maybe one jump jet for a ton of AC-10 ammo if, you're, if you don't feel confident with only two tons, but that's absolutely up to you here. And yeah, as you can see, uh, six medium lasers, a bit of cooling with double heatsink and dead AC-10. It's kind of a straightforward build here, using all of the hard points with some close range to medium range weapons. Now again, the skills, they look like this, and this is how I played the last two games here. I have armor unlocked and this is as um, as much I would go for here. So I wanted the armor nodes on the left side here. Actually, I forgot this here. Um, and uh, not the two on the right side. I think it is not really um, not efficient taking the, the two armor nodes on the right. Uh, of course, you get a lot of stuff on the way, but um, the armor is what you really want. And therefore, uh, the one over here and the one down here, uh, I think it's not worth the, the point investment on the complete right side if you don't want anything else. Um, I'm having a bit of, of cooling here. As you can see, I want that uh, other cool run here. So let's let's actually finish it. Let's go for, come on, this node. And uh, yeah, this is what I have here. Got a bit of cool run and uh, yeah, to cool the mech down because the medium lasers are not the most heat efficient weapons. Of course, I will take the radar deprivation like, uh, like this here, 60% is good. And then uh, the next stuff will go into speed tweak and the rest into the weapon. So this is, by the way, how I build my mechs together all the time. So I want the important thing. When I see a mech, I have something uh, in mind that I want to do with it. And then I'm going for uh, for the nodes that, I, that are yeah, going uh, towards that direction the most. Like, uh, again, here, uh, the armor. Then after that, the cooling because of the medium lasers. Then speed tweak. And then the firepower, because um, firepower does nothing when you can sustain the, the firepower. So therefore, uh, I, I'm going for for the for the rest for for the other stuff first. So let's take range and and this. Uh, how much do we have left? Oh, that's actually a lot. So we can probably afford going down the heat uh, heat gen here, and um, maybe magazine capacity. That last laser node. Then back to, to this spot here, taking the, the gyros for more cooling efficiency. And um, that's about it. That's about it. So the rest again into the firepower. I think I'm going for more range and velocity here. It really helps bringing the AC to, to the spot. And on the way we can take the magazine capacity too. So we don't need that extra ammo. More heat gen or less heat gen. More velocity and even more. And I think... That's it. Wait, over here, over here, over here. Heat gen, range, and more heat gen. So I think my firepower tree would look like this if I have maxed that out. I got a lot of stuff here. Um, but I think it is worth it because uh, the defensive capabilities of the Mjolnir are excellent already. And uh, you can definitely afford putting so much stuff into the firepower tree. But again, that is the build here. Or this is the build how it would look like. And um, yeah, I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, we are playing the first game of the day. It is a skirmish on the Crimson Strait. My voice is a bit off today. Uh, it definitely is. And uh, I feel horrible because I have so much uh, sleep withdrawal. Uh, I've been on a LARP, so this is the, the day after the LARP. And... Um, I didn't get much sleep and I thought like, yeah, cool, I'm home now and I can sleep like a whole night and yesterday I went to bed and I was hoping for a full night of sleep. I went to bed early because I was so exhausted. 
And my body was like, okay, please kill me now. I want to rest immediately. <clears throat> my mind was like, oh, wait, there are all these uh, amazing experiences and amazing things that you, you just saw. And I need to process that. Yay. I, I just keep your body awake until I have done that, right? And now I'm, I, I couldn't sleep at all. <laughs> I could not sleep at all last night. So again, I'm I'm absolutely tired. I feel like I'm having um having Wait a, a real life ping of 800 and more. So uh, if my aim is not the best today, please forgive oh, me I that. I want to record anyway. Don't but yeah, uh, lab was good. Lab was fun. We had a, um, a a great time over there. Um, and um, yeah, now I'm back recording it. Affirmative. Ready to push up your signal. This is what I want to see in the game. This is really good. What's so let's set up for that push. I am um, kind of a tank here, so I can't fulfill the role of an assault mech, uh, absorbing a lot of damage. Um, I have the standard engine, I have the, the arm of for, for doing so, and I got a bit of punch to throw at the enemy like this. I actually hit something. Alright, I'm happy now. Okay, uh, yeah, that long range shot there was Behind just a uh, yeah, shot on run, snapshot. Um, it was not a trade that I wanted to take. So the return fire dealt more damage than I put out with that AC 10 shell. Uh, but I want acquired. to get to that right Target spot spotted. here. Delta 7 is a good place to be if you want to coordinate a push. I'm not so sure if my buddy's in Echo 7 follow up though. Target take, it, spotted. take it slow on the front line, we are not ready there. Not ready yet. They got a UAV up. Uh, can we get it? No. Bullet drop says no. Can? No. Okay. Yeah. You just have a good laser. That's bad. Alright. Uh, we have a Jenna, which is kind of skirmishing around there, but he pays for it pretty hard. Alright. Um, yeah. Let's push that Delta 6 area top side. Let's get these fools down. Please, when you push, okay. make sure that you let the, the big ones push Target first. Spotted. Don't block them in their path to the enemy. This just happened for a second. And as a result, uh, yeah, I was I was kind of blocked here. Okay, got a good good position here. Uh, yeah, let's push that Charlie Six area. I am scared of the left side, I have to say. But it seems that a lot of people are on the right side here, which is great because now I'm in the back of that awesome and of that of everybody, that really. But he has something in the bag as well. Okay, we need to turn around. Wait, where are my friends? Why did they shoot me? What? Okay, that was a bit too late. We had a brawl here. Very good brawl. Uh, but we got four kills out of it. That's great. That's really valuable. I'm not chasing the guys on the right. Let's go back to Delta 7, guys. Not the right side, left side. Affirmative. Target acquired. Most of the enemies are on the left. Affirmative. Oh, let's do it. See that? Push up, please, push up. I'm going out. You need to follow up, please. This is port when you push. You need that follow up. This is so damn important. Okay, you, sir, you shut up. Fuck up. Alright, we got him as well. Let me keep up the push. Alright, so as you can see, the build is definitely hot, but we are on a very hot map as well. Is he dead? No, yeah, he is dead, but the Raven is not. So I'm going for that override here. Yeah. I know, I know, I know I'm the worst, but I wanted that Raven. So you don't do that in a situation where you are actually still fighting, not as ahead as we are here. So this is a complete nonsense when you are, again, behind or so. But since we had eight kills already, I was uh, just going for it because I could. I could, so no problem at all. Let's hunt down that. What is that, Phoenix? Phoenix on. Let's get him down. Go for, for the legs. Makes sense to me. Can we get him? Yeah. There we go. Alright, as you can see, it's a hot build on a hot map, but I really hope that I can show it to you on the colder map, because then we can sustain the damage even longer. And as you could see, I, I just tanked a lot of damage, and that was very valuable for the team. 500 damage roundabout, got two killing blows, seven assists, uh, one kill most damage dealt, four components destroyed. It was quite solid, but we can do better.
Alright, second game. Uh, it's an, uh, a hot map. <laughs> we are going to have fun here. So we're playing Caratherma, playing, playing Assault. Uh, I really hoped that we are not going to that stupid Golf 7 area. I think we are doing it anyway. So let's try to adapt. Let's see what what happens there. Also, I just figured out that my microphone was very quiet on the on the last game. I tried to bump it up a bit. I really hope that it is good now and that you have um, like a proper proper microphone. Level here. I'm sorry for that. I'm absolutely sorry. But yeah, um, I, I like this build actually. So um, it is a very, very strong grasshopper with a ballistic weapon that you can sustain when you have heat problems. You can of course add your medium lasers on that, um, like I did in the last game, but um, yeah, you, you see the result. The mediums are not the most heat efficient weapons and um, as a result I got uh, yeah my side also blown off. I don't want to peek here because I'm not good at peeking. I have most of my weapons uh, have a very short range, like the medium lasers, and my AC-10 is relatively low mounted, and uh, on top Target of that, on the left acquired. side. Wait, we can peek to him. Let's do that. Ah, see that? So the the AC-10 hit uh, only once, New target and then I was like, "What? What are you doing here?" Okay, you just just run into our firing line. I have no problem with that at all. Yeah, but yeah, again, the the low mounted weapon is just just too low mounted uh, to deal any damage there. I could of course go for a jump shot. Um, I totally forgot about that, so we can try that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting return fire for that. No, okay, it doesn't work as well, so we just stay here. And there's a guy behind me. We should probably deal with him. What's that? It's a locust. Yeah, uh, he popped several UAVs. Why would you do that? Alright, let's bring the UAV down. So, wait, that was not one locust, that was at least something else. Oh, there's a commando, yeah. New target acquired. Alright, a commando and the locust behind our lines. And uh, yeah, they popped two UAVs, uh, which did nothing because we saw them coming. Problem is that my team is completely turning around now. Target acquired. Okay, this is uh, our UAV, but this is oh, yeah. Okay, two of our UAVs. They're pushing back side, guys. Acquired. Don't get distracted by the squirrels. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. It's a vindicator, dude. He just ran past you. D what? What? New target acquired. Did you? Yeah. There was vindicator. Just running past you, man. Uh. Okay, target whatever. Destroyed. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, please pay attention. So our missile boats are on the front, which acquired. I don't like too much. Uh, let's try to be the, the the rock between them and the enemy New front line. Again. Acquired. Right. Got a bit of damage New to him. Target our missile boats acquired. need to be shielded from the enemy. That's important. Okay, Cody, I can tell. Why is he just standing there? What is going on today? Race game. Oh, now they're capturing our base. Oh, great. Okay, guys, we need to kill them really fast. Let's prepare for a push and then we're going in. Everybody, please move up to golf. What is that? Seven, six. They are at our base. We need to kill them now. You mean the guys right in front of us? New target acquired. Let's go for legs. Yeah, there we go. Target destroyed. All right. New target acquired. Come on, boys. Let's go. That locust is so nasty. He's so annoying. New target <laughs> what acquired. is going I got another kill. Okay, I, I take it. I definitely shield take it. Critical. But I'm hot again. And see what I'm doing here again? It's uh, shielding my assault max, my, my LRM assault max from the enemy front line. I mean, somebody has to do it, right? No, I can't do it. I can't hit him. New target acquired. Left arm critical damage. He's dead. Override shut down. Oh, damn it. Too much internal damage. That stalker should be dead. Oh, it's not a stalker. It's a slightly. Guys, can we push up, please? I am absorbing so much damage for you. Please push up. I can't stand it any longer. Thank you. Let's push them. We have seven kills, guys. Seven kills. There's no use holding back now. 
Oh, okay. New target acquired. Seven kills and still standing. I can't believe it. Okay, uh, anyway, we wanted uh, nine and two. So shouldn't acquired. be a problem anymore. Good, good shot to the cheater here. Um, yeah, should be dead. Nobody's dead. Everybody's dead. Ammo depleted. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. So I want to cool down a bit, but then I'm going Heat to shoot the locust. Critical. Legs are done. Locust is done. Target destroyed. Another kill on my end. What? Okay. Right leg critical damage. And one more behind us. Guys, it took far too long. Far too long. Uh, I got a supply cache. I'm going to open that. But as you can see, this grasshopper here. It takes so much damage and it's still up and running. Uh, yeah, also the, the enemy team did some really bad mistakes here. But but still, I absorbed so much damage. I shielded my, my LRM assaults for so long and I think that eventually won us the game. 731 damage, I got 4 kills, 8 assists and yeah, 7 components destroyed. We are going to open up the supply cache now and that's it for today. What a crazy game. What a crazy game last game. Okay, let's go over to the inventory and see what's in that supply cache. Uh, it's probably... Oh, I don't know. Oh, that Ice of Space is actually pretty nice. I want that decal. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. And uh, yeah, then that's it for today. I need to get some sleep. I really need to get some sleep. Okay, what's inside? Wheel is spinning and we get... We get... Yes! Oh my god! I got it! I, I, oh, this is so cool. I really wanted that decal and I got it. Oh, I'm so happy now. I'm so happy now. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. It's a nice, nice finisher for the video. So, uh, yeah, that was your daily dose. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. Please follow me on Twitch. My live content is exclusively on Twitch at the moment. Uh, if you want to attend to that, then uh, link is down below in the description. Also, my Patreon page link is there as well. If you want to support me and want to get some bonus material, then that is the best place to be. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.